Hey guys, Mango here. Today, I want to talk about gaming sleeves. I believe that this accessory is one of the most underrated products you can get on the market right now. So today, we're going to talk about my top three I've found so far. Dive into why I like using these types of sleeves. Firstly, let's talk about it from a reviewing perspective. I review a lot of different mouse pads and there are a lot of different surfaces. So for me, whenever it comes to reviewing these mouse pads, I like to have a consistent feel on my arm. Using a gaming sleeve has helped me isolate the mouse pads with the mice and let me understand what the experience of the mouse pad is. From a gaming perspective, it makes a lot of sense as it allows me to have a far more consistent experience. The reason I say that is whenever I'm playing for longer periods of time, I find that my arms do get a little more sweaty. And since I have, you know, more hairy arms than probably most, I do feel like this causes myself to feel more friction on my arms and feel a little more sticky when using mice on mouse pads. So because of that, I have found that these arm sleeves just really help create a consistent feel on the mouse pads. So that is honestly why I think that they make sense. I think that it's something that people don't realize would benefit them a lot, especially if they're playing for two to three, four hours. Let's now talk about my recommendations. Firstly, we have Gamer Sleeve. Gamer Sleeve was kind enough to send these out for review. They gave me this cherry blossom one, which I think is beautiful. And they also sent me this Fractal 2.0 design. Uh, I just focused on using one of these for the purposes of review, but they have a wide variety of designs. And some of my favorites include the Akatsuki designs. Those are so clean, the Cherry Blossom, and there are several others too that I just find dope. Now, if you wanna buy one of these, you can go to their website, use Mango at checkout, save 15% off, which is a lot. And you'll be supporting a one-man business who is just trying to make gamers have a better time. Shout out to Bradley for hooking me up with these gamer sleeves, really appreciate that. And I really enjoy them. So let's actually talk about my experience using this so far. The material is very nice, actually. It is the thinnest of the three, which you might think is like, isn't that bad? No, actually, I think that the fact that the material is thin allows it to be far more breathable while also giving me that lesser friction experience from my skin. So that's what I really like about this. The designs are also fantastic. And then the stitching is very nice and soft, meaning it does not get in the way when I am gaming. I do not feel it. And I just really like that. The areas that they could definitely improve upon and make even better have to do with the little band at the top. If this was a little thicker, like my New Balances, these would be such like a game changer. Editor Mango here, just want to let y'all know, Gamer Sleeve has improved upon their bicep grip tech. It's now a silicon ring that should allow the sleeve to grip on your arm better than what was previously being used. They have a wide variety of sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, etc. I got larges. Um, and I think I could have actually gone a size up as I like my sleeves personally to ride a little further up on my bicep and, you know, cover my wrist just a little bit more. But that's because of my New Balance sleeve that I've used for such a long time. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Now to quantify if the sleeves were actually having a positive impact in games in comparison to no sleeve, I ran a little experiment where I alternated between no sleeve and the gaming sleeve playing Aimlab's Grid Shot Ultimate. On average, I found that I was hitting 3000 points higher with a sleeve on rather than no sleeve whatsoever. So that was a very interesting finding. I believe that this really comes down to the sleeves allowing me to have a more fluid, consistent feel across the mouse pad when flicking or tracking. Whereas when I have my raw skin on the mouse pad, I find that my skin will randomly get stuck on the mouse pad, not allowing me to have as consistent of movement as I would like. If you would like me to do some sort of a 30 day challenge where I really dive into this and explore this theory, let me know in the comments below. So overall, when it comes to the gaming experience with this, it's very nice and soft. I really like the way it feels and overall it's just been a very nice experience so far so with that let's now talk about my second option which these are in no particular order but number two is the lizard skins these are my least favorite of the three i'll put it that way i think that they're really good but the issue they have is that firstly they have this really thick lettering on them which can get a little bit in the way and then they have this more sticky design of the lizard skin logo on the sleeve itself which can stick to your mouse pads which is kind of annoying now um the stitching is really nice and thick but that Thicker stitching does actually get in the way when gaming at times. And also this material is the most rigid of the three that I've used, which is a little bit annoying when I am putting these sleeves on my arms. I got a small to medium size and um, 
though, you know, I would say that it's, uh, I'm not even joking when I'm trying to, I'm struggling to put this on, but you know, um, though it is a little bit, you know, less, let's say malleable material, it is pretty nice on the arm. It does keep me far more locked in, at least my arm when I'm gaming, uh, but it does get a little tight. And especially since it's getting hotter, this material is feeling a little more constrictive than when it is cooler. But if you want something that's a little tighter, that doesn't have as much flex to it and will keep your arms like not bendable as much, um, this is a good contender. Again, this sleeve's armband is not the best. Uh, it gets the job done, which is good, but in my experience, I do like the New Balance's uh, band material, and we're gonna get into that just in a moment. So overall, this is one to consider. Um, it is a little more, let's say if the gamer sleeve is a softer material, which allows it to be far more fluid on mousepad surfaces, this has a little bit more friction due to the material that they are using. And so because of that, you will feel like in the world of gaming sleeves, this does feel like it's a little bit more control. I did the same Aim Labs Grid Shot Ultimate test alternating between no sleeve and lizard skin sleeve. And again, I came out with data showing that the lizard skin's sleeve gave me an average increase in performance of 400 points. Now that's not at all as substantial as the previous sleeve. However, I do feel like this sleeve material does make it far more geared towards tag FPS games if that's only what you play. So in that respect, I did again feel a significant increase in the consistency and control in my arm movements over no sleeve. Let's now talk about the New Balance sleeve. This is the one that I've used the longest so far. It is the one that has seen the most wear. And um, overall, this is also a nice breathable material. I would say that it is the longest of the three, which I actually like since it allows me to roll this all the way up to the edge of my bicep, which I personally like. The band material is also very nice and thick, which means that this is gonna stay in place. The stitching on the side isn't the best. It does get in the way. It is a tad too long, so it does bunch up a little, which is not my favorite. And this reflective New Balance logo kind of does get in the way, so I always have to flip it in a way where it's not on my wrist when I am gaming. You do get a two pack for around 15 to 20-ish bucks on Amazon. So this is the best budget value and it's the one that I've used the most. With this sleeve, I did the same no sleeve versus New Balance sleeve comparison in Aim Labs Grid Shot Ultimate alternating between the two. And I found a 4,000 point difference when I wore a sleeve versus no sleeve. Now, you can make the argument that I have been wearing the sleeve for well over a year, so I must be used to it, and that is correct. But nevertheless, that does not take away from the point that sleeves do make an impact when it comes to my consistency and my performance in games. So there is something here behind the data that is showing that sleeves do help performance. Which one do I recommend? Well, it really is up to personal preference. What are you looking for? Are you looking for the softest material and the ability to have a design? Well, then the gamer sleeve is the best option, I think, on the market so far. Are you looking for something that is significantly more, let's say, rigid and feels like it's a more controlled arm sleeve that will keep your arm more locked in than the lizard skin option is there for you. If you're looking for just something to get in the world of these arm sleeves and understand what they're like in game, then I think New Balance has a pretty affordable option. I think that you should definitely go out and buy them. Check it out. I think that they are something that people are sleeping on. The impact they have in game when it comes to your ability to flick track is just it's, it's surprising. You would not think that these would help as much as they do. 